Good afternoon, Nitesh. How are you? Uh, good afternoon, sir. I'm fine, oh, Very good afternoon. Where is Sanka? Tharun, they have not yet joined it. Yes, I think they'll join. Okay, okay. I'll call them. Sir. Sure. Good afternoon, Congo. Can you hear me? Congo, well, can you hear me? Hello, am I audible? Yeah. Good, good afternoon. Evening, Very good evening. How are you? Fine, sir. Okay. Where is now Thorn? He joined, sir. Okay. Hi, Thorn. How are you? Uh, okay. So let me know that is screen visible to all of you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I'm back. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So we have just reached up to the, uh, we have discussed the <coughs> law of trades, that is the Dobriner classification. Then we have discussed it about the like new, new land octaves. Exactly. Today we are going to study the Mandy classification Mendeleev's periodic table so first uh, let, let's see Mendeleev's periodic law so Mendeleev he gave a very important law that's known as Mendeleev's periodic law so is it visible to all of you yes, yes sir 
okay so this mendeleev's periodic law what it states it states that all the physical and chemical properties of an element they are the periodic function of their atomic mass or atomic weight so let me write it here that all the physical and chemical properties all the physical and chemical properties of an element or the periodic function of or the periodic function of their atomic weight or you can also call it as atomic mass but i hope you will you remember the difference between mass and weight can you tell me what is the difference between mass and weight it's a mass is due to uh, like the number of quantity of matter in a specific body weight is the gravity uh, acted upon a specific mass exactly so we can say that mass is a fixed quantity it doesn't change but weight yes. changes from place to place right Yes sir. yes sir exactly so what we learned from this mendeleev's law we learned that any physical or chemical property of an element it it depends on periodic function means depends on right periodic function here means that depends so the all the properties of an element they depend on what they depend on the atomic weight right so this was just told by the mendeleev so mendeleev told that all the physical and chemical properties of an element they are the periodic function of their atomic weight so that means he act what he did he just arranged all the known elements in increasing order of atomic weight so can you tell me that at the time at the time of mendeleev 51 um, sir no 63 elements were discovered at that time. 63 elements were discovered at the time of mendeleev it is the talk of 1869 it is the talk of 1869 when mendeleev gave his periodic law and the periodic table so you have to remember this date this is very important and the number of elements because it's Manish, asked in your on when did uh, ma'am give chemistry marks no so will this no. be on the test tomorrow sir yeah I sure mendeleev's periodic oh, table is sorry. very important yeah you have to remember so oh. in this mendeleev's periodic table what you have to remember it is sir, sir, that sir. okay yes, tell sir. me sir in the topics they only gave atomic structure sir yeah so maybe in the upcoming tests you will face this this oh. one also oh, oh. tomorrow is not there right yeah yeah tomorrow, tomorrow it will not be there come and write yeah yeah not tomorrow in this will not be in tomorrow's test but ahead okay so at the time of mendeleev how many elements were discovered 63. 63 and yeah it is the talk of 1869 so what he told he told that all the physical and chemical properties of an element they are the periodic function of the atomic weight so this is known as mendeleev's periodic law so this is very important it's asked in the exam that what is actually mendeleev's periodic law so you have to remember that it says all the properties they are just they just depend they just depend on atomic weight so what he did he arranged all the known elements in increasing order of atomic weight so what man you did one. yeah exactly so he arranged i will write it here all the known elements he arranged all the known elements in increasing order of in increasing order of atomic weight in increasing order of atomic weight so just for example he just uh, for example he kept lithium lithium atomic weight is 7 right and then he kept uh, beryllium beryllium its atomic weight is 9 sir hydrogen helium and all wasn't discovered sir helium is a noble gas that was not discovered but hydrogen was discovered there hydrogen its mass so is hydrogen one is right straight. yeah hydrogen is the first i will i will just make Example. the whole 
it is just the example i will just make the whole periodic table of mendeleev what he actually have given that is the mendeleev's periodic table there are the periods and the groups which we will see in detail but this is just the general that what he actually did he arranged all the known elements in increasing order of their atomic weight for example its atomic weight is 1 then it is 7 right so in this increasing order you can uh, find it in the mendeleev's periodic table now can you anybody tell me what is the full name of mendeleev mendeleev john mendeleev john mendeleev <laughs> no no it is not the john dimitri <laughs> mendeleev i know and uh, yeah i studied it okay tell sir, me dimitri then dimitri mendeleev dimitri exactly it is the dimitri ivanovich oh, i said it sir i said it sir dimitri yeah, okay is that exactly Dimitri. No, like before it's ever said. Avano, which Mandalay? <laughs> This is the complete name. So that means there are like many Mandalays. So Donna Dola Anand Sankar. Shut up there. <laughs> can remember the whole name. Well, good. If you cannot remember the whole name, you can also write Dimitri Mandalay, or you can also write D D I Mandalay, right? You talk like that. You also have two initials and tell those initials. Let's see. no oh, like in everywhere my initials are only initials my birth certificate my school certificate my 8th and 12th certificate everything no my mom changing my school sure 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 now see here these 63 elements what he did he just made different types of chords right he made uh, for example for all chord. these elements what he did he just made the chord yeah and what he wrote he wrote the atomic mass of element he wrote the symbol of the element he also wrote the two very important properties they were important one is their oxides what he studied he studied the oxides of all these elements and next what he studied he studied the hydrides of these elements so can you tell me what are oxides and what are hydrides sir so an oxygen is added to an element it's oxide and hydrogen is added you can see it is simply compound with oxygen right any element when it forms a compound with oxygen so that's your oxide right So like hydroxide is a oxide of hydrogen, right? Hydrogen. Hydride, I mean. hydride means compound with hydrogen. Exactly. Exactly. Compound with hydrogen. So all these sixty elements he studied and uh, their oxides and their hydrides. This is very important. Sometimes it is asked in the viva or in the exam that what are the two properties which mainly studied. for all the known elements so they they were their oxides and their hydrides oxide means simply compound with oxygen and hydride means compound with hydrogen uh, for example i will just give one of the example for example lithium lithium forms hydride with hydrogen formula is lih similarly lithium forms oxide with oxygen that is li2o Li oh. exactly we will see all these and when we will just uh, draw the mendeleev's periodic table so first you had remember that this mendeleev's periodic table it was given in 1869 and there were 63 elements and he gave the law that is known as mendeleev's periodic law in which he stated that Sir, all what is lih and li uh, 2o called lih is called lithium, lithium hydride. hydride it is known as lithium, lithium hydride lithium oxide and lithium hydride lithium exactly lithium lithium known as lithium. For example, just what is MgO? It is the magnesium oxide, isn't it? Magnesium oxide. Exactly. What is then MgH2? It is the magnesium hydride. Magnesium hydride. Exactly. Okay. So have you noted down this? Shall I move to the next page? Yes. Yes, sir. All right. So. Oh, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, sir. Okay. If you wanna see, I will just. Yes. One second. I'll finish. Sir. Yes, sir. done. Okay. So yeah, now, what he did done. when he just arranged all these sixty-three elements, he arranged them in periods and groups. So, what yes, is sir. a period? I have already told the you. It is, is a row. The row, sir. sir. Exactly. Row. It is the horizontal row. Horizontal that row. It, yeah, horizontal row. That means it starts from left to right, isn't it? Yes, sir. Exactly. So, can you then tell me in the Mendeleev's periodic table how many periods were there? Seven. Oh, no, the twelve, eighteen. The first Eight. Mendeleev's periodic table, which was given by Mendeleev, there were only six periods. You have to remember, in the modern periodic table, there are seven, but the Mendeleev's periodic table it contains only six. 
but when it has been modified the modified one contains the seventh now can yes, you tell sir. me what is the group group is a the vertical the group is the what yeah column vertical column column sir vertical you can't make a it's a vertical column horizontal row so i can tell the vertical column vertical column exactly okay vertical tell me column it will be from top to bottom right yes sir okay so can you tell me the mendeleev's periodic table how many groups were there six sorry sorry sir 18 uh, 18 there were eight there are 18 in the modern way. periodic table but in the mendeleev's periodic table there were only eight the sir why don't they why don't they give mendeleev's periodic table also sir yeah mendeleev's periodic table is there i will just make that mendeleev gave the periodic table he just uh, arranged all the known elements in periods and groups so you had first remember how many periods and groups were there then i will just made the periodic sir, table, right sir, there were yes, yes sir Sir, in yes, sir, they gave Mendeleev's periodic yeah. table, but uh, in group eight there are no elements, sir. In group eight there are elements. There are elements. They are yeah, in, they, in group, they are in groups of three three. There are three three elements in eighth group. I will just make the whole periodic table. So have you noted down this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, I will so, just so move. So one this. second, sir. One second, sir. Okay. Hey, the full page is there, no? so what then you that? have to remember that group it was divided into subgroups yes. divided into subgroups so there were also subgroups inside the mendeleev's periodic table except to group number 8 except to group number 8 so that means group number 8 doesn't contain any subgroup you have to remember this now in the mendeleev's periodic table there were few elements which were which were not discovered at that time but mendeleev just kept empty vacant spaces there to so which elements were not discovered at the time of mendeleev noble and gases noble gases yeah that is there that noble gases sir, they were uh, not sir metalloids but there were few elements where he kept sir, the empty uh, space sir, he sir, just sir, kept sir. the vacant place sir, okay sir, I, sir, I will tell it in the periodic table Carbon is not a metal. Carbon Have you noted down this? Carbon yes, is a non-metal. Carbon is four. Carbon is a non. Carbon is definitely a non-metal. Uh, I'm saying boron. Boron. It's an exception case. It's an exception case, sir. I'm saying boron. The boron is in Mendeleev's periodic table. It's a metal. You, you said boron carbon. You said carbon also, sir. It be a mistake, guys. It be a mistake. Okay, okay, no problem. We'll write it here. Boron, carbon, both are your non-metals. Sir, what? Oh. Got it. So boron, boron and oh yeah, boron. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah bo boron is a non-metal. Yeah, you you have to the be sure. Yes. Boron and boron. Yeah, yeah, I was confused. <laughs> okay. So shall I move to the next page because I have to meet the yes, sir, main yes, table. Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. So let the, like... the Mendeleev's periodic table. So first there were groups, right? Let me draw here. There was group first. You have to write them as Roman numerals. So this is your group first, like this. Yes. Now can you tell me that I already told you that how many groups and how many periods were there, right? Eight groups yes, and there three were like periods. Eight groups and six columns or six uh, periods. Yeah, yeah, six periods. Exactly. Yes, so yes, shall yes. I? Okay, okay. I will just uh, make first the group. So there were eight groups. So I will just draw, and you will also note down it in your notebook. Yes, so group first, then group second, then it will be your group third. It is sound photo in Google. It looks very weird. So I can't fit all of them in the book, sir. That's not what you. I'm not writing. Sir, should we write this? Yes, you are. Sir, told it right now, right? So I can't fit them all, sir. 
I had written like an A4 sheet or something. Bro, yeah. what do you think I'm doing? I'm writing an A4 sheet attaching it to my notebook. I'm just gonna write till GP for six and then continue on the next page. Yes, <laughs> Who laughed? Like I did an A4 sheet. Who laughed? Like uh-huh. <laughs> Sangal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh so, so left. left. Hey, Tarun, just pull your camera out, Ra. We know what you're doing there. Ah. Ha. Open, Open your camera. Open your camera. Ha ha. I can see the glass, Ra. Just pull your camera out, Ra. Yeah, Ra. We wanna see your beautiful face. Here, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Sir. The camera the computer will work. Yes, sir. We can hear you, sir. Call your dad there. <laughs> Hey, oh wait, he does not wear speaker, uh, headphones. Uncle? They. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. See here now, I in know. each group has been divided into subgroups, right? Yes, sir. So in the group first, the subgroup will be named as first A and then first B. Got it? What? I don't understand <laughs> Oh, I'm one saying group is divided into two groups, sir. Yes, into two subgroups. They will not be called groups. They will be now the subgroups. This was your group first. So what will be inside? Inside will be your first A, first B. That is your subgroup A and subgroup B. Right? Yes, sir. Mine is getting thinner every two seconds, sir. Okay. Since so now let me write here the elements which were there. So in the first A. It was hydrogen at the top, and then it is the lithium, then sodium, then it is the potassium, then it is the rubidium, and then it is the cesium. The last element which lies in the first A, that is the francium, that was actually not discovered at the time of Mendeleev because Mendeleev gave his periodic table in in which year? 1869. Right? Okay. Now, what were the elements in first B? That is your first uh, subgroup B. Helium, 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 uh, helium, calcium, calcium, copper. Sure. No, no it was copper, lithium, silver, uh, and gold. Uh, copper, uh, silver, and gold. Uh, sir, why is it so space, space, very different, sir? Yes, he just kept these uh, different elements. Actually, he just found that they form same types, uh, same type of oxide. I will, I will just tell you the formula of these. Yeah, not to worry. So what he told, he told that the f- group first element is they just form, they just form oxides which have the general formula that is E two O, E two O. E is the element. Yes, E two O. For example, can you tell me what will be the oxide formed by hydrogen? It will be H two O. Yeah, that will be. <laughs> okay, but what will be the oxide formed by the lithium? That will be Li two O. Got it? Okay, exactly. What will be the oxide formed by the sodium? The sodium with the K two O. K two O. It will K2O. be Na Na two O. Sodium. Its formula is Na. Na two O. Potassium, sir. Okay, potassium. Yeah, sodium. So this is according to Mendeley. What? So Mendeley told that. The oxides of these group first elements, their general formula is E2O. And what is the general formula of their hydrides? He also told their general formula is EH. So isn't sodium group the, B, sir, like uh, one B, sir? Yeah, for groups uh, first B, it is your subgroup. So what will be the oxide of copper? It will be Cu2O, isn't it? See, that sir, is your copper. Sodium should be in sir. group like one B, right, sir? No, why? It is in group first A. According to the Manley, you have to uh, oh, draw it. Yes, what Manley ah. have yes, sir, kept, have kept, you have to kept it like that. Okay, now can you tell me the formula of your hydrides? For example, what will yes. be the hydride of hydrogen? H2. Yes, exactly. That's H2. Okay, what will be that of lithium? LiH. 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 Okay, what will be that of NaH? Very good. K-H. Potassium hydride K-H. will be K-H. A- yeah, K-H. R-B-H. 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 Hydrogen is also a metal, sir. Hydrogen is non-metal. It is not a metal. Hydrogen is non-metal. It's a non-metal with positive valency. 
exactly but why he has kept in group first a because he told that it forms same type of oxide and same type of hydride just like the other metals just lithium sodium got it yes sir okay now tell me uh, the elements of uh, uh, second second so second group it will be further divided into two subgroups that is your second a e and second b calcium cerium bag second a e and second b so in the second a e, hydrogen there is there isn't any element yes sir because one a e, exactly like so lithium a e. after lithium there is uh, beryllium a e. here yeah Carbon. then after there is so magnesium to learn till group 3 no no you have not to learned up only up to group 3 i have just yet made up to group 3 we will make it okay. complete okay. So beryllium, magnesium, then it is the calcium, then it is the strontium, and then it was the barium. Strontium and barium. Okay. Now tell me the elements of second B. So it was here: zinc, cadmium, and mercury. Zinc, cadmium, and mercury. Sir, I don't get the logic of this, sir, but I'll memorize it. Yeah, you have to actually. There isn't <laughs> logic. Is that they form same type of oxide and same type of hydride? I have already told that Mendeley studied two properties. One of the property was their oxides, another was their hydrides. So when he just oh, found, they, I get sir, it. so basically so, they're arranging with their valencies, sir. exactly on the basis of valency exactly for example see see here the general formula of the oxides of group second it is eo so can you tell me the formula of beryllium oxide sir so beryllium B -E beo beo exactly beo okay what will be that mgo sro bao exactly. so it bao that is why mendeley's periodic table is very important because you will also here know that what will be the formula of the oxide what will be the formula of the hydride isn't it for example the hydride formula of these elements it will be eh2 so can you tell me the hydride of beryllium what will be the formula so in uh, group 1 uh, one a has all positive valency and one b has all negative valency no no no, no. Copper is a metal. It's also your electropositive. Oh yeah, copper. Sir, then why do we have two groups? Hey, what do you mean? Oh yeah. He just arranged these elements in, within the same group. He just told that they form same type of oxide. For example, see, beryllium forms oxide BeO. Magnesium, zinc also forms the same oxide. That is ZnO. Zinc also what forms ZnO. Zinc lies in the second B, but it is in the group second. this is whole second group so that means beryllium and zinc they form same type of oxide that is beo so that is why he just kept these elements in the same group group second sir but why are the two groups if they can keep it in 2a right 2a itself right yeah he could, he could arrange them in separate groups so that is why this is the limitation where we will just study the limitation of mendeley's periodic table i will get these are endless right Uh, yeah yeah there are endless possibilities but we have to first study what mendeley you have actually made we we are studying what we are studying the mendeley's periodic tables we are moving towards the we are just studying the history of the periodic table isn't it so whatever they have just put forward you have to remember like that then we will just uh, finally come to the modern periodic table in which we will see in detail that how actually presently we are having the modern periodic table the long form of periodic table Now can you tell me group third? So group third is also divided into two subgroups. So one will be your third A. Sir, everything is divided into two subgroups, right, sir? Yes, I have written except down that. Except eighth one. Except eighth one. Except for eight. Yeah, yeah. Except eighth one. Except eighth one. Boron, aluminum. Now in the third A, there is exactly the boron. Then, then it is the aluminum. then it was the element which was not discovered at that time he just kept the Number empty guy. space here. he just kept the empty space mainly so this is very important then it is the indium which was discovered at that time then it is the thallium In tl what? indium yeah. and thallium indium and thallium okay now in the third b it was here the scandium so scandium it was actually not discovered but within few days it got discovered then So scandium, yeah. Then it is the yttrium, then lanthanum. Yeah, but 
TL and LA is not that in this thing, the picture I'm seeing. Which picture you are seeing? It was Mendel, Mendel alive for those few days. Oh, okay. yeah, okay, nothing, sir. I'll just leave it as it makes me confusing. I'll learn this. Itself. You have to just remember this one periodic table, which I am just making because it is very easy and you will learn a lot of from this periodic table. What will be the formula of oxide is the hydride is all these. So can you tell me what is the general formula of oxide of group third? So B, B, O, B, O, A, L, O, A, L, O, 3, and then blank O something. And then I, N, I don't know, I, N, what I, N, R, T, L is. It is E two O three. Indium. <laughs> Indium. Sir, no, sir. Boron is two, sir. That means it be e B O, sir. Boron valency is three. It's boron three, valence. Its so, electronic configuration is two three. three. I will tell you, boron. Its valency is three. Okay. Oh. And the valency of oxygen is two. When you will just crisscross this, what will be the formula? Sir, it will be. Um, B exactly B two O three. What will be that of aluminium? It will also be Al two O three. Al two O three. And then okay, blank two O three. Next, two, three, next, and next is I N two O three, which was discovered at later on. It is the gallium. G is, sir. Yeah, G is the gallium. Oh yeah, gallium. Okay. Gallium was discovered later on, but he just is that liquid put it... metal thing, right, sir? Like exactly, a... exactly. When you just put it in on your hand, it just melts. So it also it is also considered to be in the liquid state. Exactly. Mercury. But the yeah, we are only having mercury, which exists in the liquid state, and the bromine, it also exists in the liquid state. Gallium, yes. gallium actually exists in the solid state, but when you just put when you just put it on your hand, it melts. I it don't melts. It melts. Little so temperature is required to heat it. Exactly, exactly. Very little temperature heat is required to melt it. So that's why it's also considered to be liquid. You have to remember this. Is it expensive? Can I buy it? Is it radioactive? It is not radioactive. Not you can buy it. Oh, it will suck you inside like a black hole if you <laughs> open the bottle. <laughs> now, what is the formula of their hydrides? Sir, B. It is EH3. EH3. Oh. So can you sir, tell me the formula of boron hydride? So BH3, ALH3, exactly. Blank H3, iron. Blank H3. is gallium. It is the gallium actually, which was discovered later on. Then indium. Yeah, indium. What is TL, sir? Thallium. Thallium. TL. Thallium. Sir, what are the properties of thallium, sir? Same as that of indium, same that as of aluminium, same as that oh, of boron. They all exist in, uh, like that is why you might remember all those elements which lies within the same group. They have similar property. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's then move towards the next. Uh, shall okay, I? Uh, oh yeah. Okay. I didn't finish it yet. I hope you are writing side by side because I have to also rub it. Uh, I'm just yes, sir. Trying to comprehend what you're writing, sir. Okay. So now see here. And now this is your group. Group four, the one, right? So what will be in this group four? There will be also four A. That is subgroup A. And then four B. So here, you will also find the elements in the 4E, there is carbon, and then it is the silicon. Then it was also here the empty space left because this element was not discovered at that time. It was actually the germanium. Then it was the tin here, SN is the symbol for tin, and then it was here PB. PB is the symbol for lead. The scandium, it is the titanium, and then here it is the zirconium, and then it is the hafnium, HF. Yes, sir. that is in. Sorry, screen yeah. share went away. No, it's still there. Screen is already there. Okay. Can you say what he said again, sir? 
I'll leave it please answer. Okay, I will. I will just tell that in the fourth A there is carbon, silicon. Then it is here the tin. Then it is here the lead. PB is lead. TI it stands for titanium. ZR stands for zirconium. And then it is the hafnium HF. Now, what is the uh, formula of their oxide? Can anybody tell me? General formula? Well, it is E O four. E O four. No, E two O four. Oh yeah, embarrassing. Sir, it is E O two. And E H yes. four, and it will yes. be S I S I O two. First tell me that of oxide. First tell that of oxide formula. So it will be C O two. S I O two. Exactly. S I O two. Another is C O two. G is germanium. Oh, germanium. O two. P B O two. Exactly. P B O two. Sir, Z R H four. H F H four. Okay, now what is the hydride formula? CH four. That is methane. CH four. SiH four. SiH four. BBH four. Germanium H four. You don't have to say the name. Then. Okay, now have you completed this? One After one this. Second, one second. The last. Okay. I will just move to the next page because I will just draw the the group fifth. I hope you will just continue on the same page on your notebook, right? Um, yes. Sir. One second, sir. one two seconds, sir. one again. Sure, sure. You can just complete it. Then I will move to the next page. Mandela's periodic table look, uh, looks even better than modern periodic table. Exactly. It is the first periodic table given by Mandeleev. So that is why Mandeleev is regarded as father of periodic table. Okay. Even modern periodic table is the first periodic table given by the modern people. Sir. No, no. Modern was given later on. See, actually, when you have just studied the Dobriner trade, has he given any periodic table? No. Okay, but Nitish, modern, but modern when, periodic table is not the first periodic table. First periodic table was given by Mandeleev. So Mandeleev is regarded as father of periodic table. Yes, sir. So then who is the father of modern periodic table, sir? That is the Mosley who gave the modern periodic table. Mosley, Henry Mosley. What? Mosele cheese. spelling sir, yeah. can you tell the Okay, I will write it here. That is the Henry Mosley, M O S E L E Y. Yes, so you can go to the next page, sir. Wait, uh, wait. So, have you noted down this? Sir, yes, I mean sir. the last name, sir. Last name. Okay, sure. You have to remember the general formula of their oxides and the hydrides. So, hydrides, it is easy. It was EH, then EH2, then EH3, then EH4, right? Yes, sir. Oxide, you have to remember it is E2O, then EO, then E2O3, then EO2. So, when they ask, like, the, like draw the Mandeleev's tea. Ah, uh, yeah. Draw the Mandeleev's periodic table till group four means we have to draw this entire thing. Exactly, yeah. But exactly. this type of question, but this type of question will not be asked in your exam. In the exam, it is asked that write the formula of oxide and the hydride. So this is important. Sir, will we get, will we get this chart in the exam, sir? Like, how can we memorize all this? No, 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 not at all. This will not be asked in the exam that you have to draw the whole Mandeleev's periodic table. How you can remember these elements? You have not to remember these elements. Just you sir, have to we, remember. The we, we won't remember the elements, sir. Like if they ask random questions, we just need to check this thing, right, sir? Like, will they give us uh, Mandeleev's yeah, periodic table? Yeah, yeah, they, they will give you the Mandeleev's periodic so table. Ask, like, uh, name any one element from group two. Sub, uh, sub they, they, they will give the, they will give the periodic table. They won't ask that. Okay, I will, I will tell you. See, for example, if question is asked to you that you have to write the general formula of group third oxide. So can you tell me the oxide formula of group third? It is, sir, oxide. Yeah. E2O3. Sir, so, sir, it is B two O three Al. It is E two O three. So that means you have to remember this thing. That is, what is the general formula of their oxide? General oh, formula of their thing. Yeah, this is very important concept. Oh, you have not. 
all the elements yet you have to just understand the concept behind this mendeleev's periodic table how he actually arranged these elements when we, we will just we can find that easily by using the formula right sir like uh, exactly. using chemical formula yeah you can also use the valency to write the formula but you have to according to manly what he gave you have to remember like that okay shall i move to the next page yes sir okay now let's see the group fifth one so can you tell me group fifth will also be divided into two subgroups five right a, five b exactly five a and five b so five a and five b i will write it here fifth a and fifth b so fifth a it will just contain the elements that is your nitrogen family actually nitrogen will be the first here then it is the nit phosphorus then it is the arsenic then sir, it is the nit sir nitrogen is in the level of hydrogen no. no no it is not in the level of in the I level of hydrogen agree. in the level of hydrogen there will be only two elements one is the hydrogen another will be the helium that is the noble gas which was so not discovered at that time discovered. yeah exactly so there is only one element in the first period that is your hydrogen in the mendeleev's periodic table so who only... discovered noble gas noble gas were discovered later, later on which Bad we will gas. study I don't remember yet who discovered these noble gases, but they were discovered later on. Nitrogen D. So what is D? It is P. P is the phosphorus. Oh, phosphorus. Nitrogen, phosphorus, arsenic, antimony, bismuth. I will write it here that this is your second period, and this is the third one, third period, and this is the fourth period. So I don't want it. Uh, fifth group, sixth, uh, like third group, sixth. it is the fifth period this is the sixth period right okay now see here in the fifth b what were the elements in the fifth b elements were vanadium here v vanadium niobium that's nb vanadium. vanadium then it is the tantalum that's t v stands for yes vanadium so why is uh, why does every element in b does like a completely random element sir they are not actually the random elements when you will just uh, see the modern periodic table these elements that is vanadium niobium tantalum they are in the d block you will just uh, see them the d block is uh, group 3 to group 12 right exactly group 3 to group 12 that is your d block so they belong to that means these elements which you are just seeing in the b one that is your second subgroup oh, they are actually okay okay i get it sir i get it sir Yeah, these are the elements which are in the table. Hydrates are like three, right? Three, three. Three, three. Take this example. Uh, okay. You you know group three, right? Group uh, three. You can see in modern periodic table. Ah uh, ah. Uh, group three is for the group three, three, uh, three B. The the first three elements. Then for group four, uh, four exactly. the first three elements. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you have the modern periodic table with you, you can just check it out. Uh, Now, can you check yes, the formula of your oxide? Know. E okay, what? E, no, it will be E two O five, and hydride will be E H three. But nitrogen is not uh, nitrogen. Nitrite valency is not five. Nit right? yeah, nitrogen valency oh, is D form as N two O five. Right, dinitrogen. It is known as dinitrogen pentoxide. You have to remember this. Okay. Phosphorus will form P two O five. That is phosphorus pentoxide. No, so hydride. Yeah, hydride will be NH three. That is ammonia NH three. So why why is it five at the oxygen bit and then uh, only three at the hydrides? Yeah, hydride hydride formula he gave EH three because they form hydrides of the type in which there are only three hydrogen that atoms. Means, Just it is uh, NH three. That means the valence of E is like three sir, and hydrogen is, is like one. B block, sir. What? Sir, uh, you said uh, D block is three to twelve, right? Sir, then what is A, B, and C block, sir? They are S, P, D, and F. There are total four blocks: S block, P block, D, and F block elements. These are. We will see it when we will study the modern periodic table. Yet we are just studying the Mendeleev, so you have to focus on that. Now let's see next one. Next group is your group six, right? Yes, sir. So this group six is it is also divided into two subgroups. So can you tell me the name? It uh, will be your uh, fifth uh, A, fifth A, and fifth B, right? Sixth A and sixth B, right? Yes. 
Exactly. Okay. Now tell me the elements. It is oxygen, sulfur, selenium, and tellurium. Selenium, tellurium, polonium. Polonium. Yes, sir. Exactly. Okay. Then after vanadium, it will be your chromium here. Chromium. Then it is the molybdenum and tungsten. Tungsten. It is the tungsten. Molybdenum. Molybdenum and tungsten. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce these there, and I don't want to. Yeah, it, will, it will be a little bit difficult to pronounce it's for like you. The, the promoter you of the Abus process. You have to we, just. We got tungsten in our promoter. Uh, when did we yeah. get tungsten? Yeah. Molybdenum is the promoter. Molybdenum is used as a promoter. Okay. For Abus process. Yeah, in Abus process. Okay, what will be the formula of their hydrides? So Sir, it is E two O six. E two O six. Oh, E three. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. But can you tell me what? that can can we write E H plus H two E? Isn't it? We can write. I think I don't know. For example, what will be the what will be the hydride of oxygen? Oxygen hydride oh. will be H two O, isn't it? Yes. Sir. Yes. Do you write, yes, do you write H two O or do you write O H two? Which is better, sir? H two O, sir. Exactly, it is the H two O because first you have to write uh, that one which is less electronegative. Then sir, you so, have to write. Sir, sir can we write H three as H three E, sir? No, no, you can write H two S. That is hydrogen sulfide. Similarly, H two S E, hydrogen selenide. I don't get it, sir. Why don't you? Uh, I have told here the formula that is H two E. So the this is the general formula. So that is H two O, H two S, H two S E. It is easy. Now can you tell so me the last one is uh, last is polonium. That is P O. Oh, yes sir. Polonium. How is it E H two sir? It should be E. How is it possible, sir? How is it? How is two coming, sir? Two no. Sulfur is two no. No, no, like hydrogen. The E H two and H two E. How is it possible? Why it's not? It's See, same thing. it is same thing. Either you write it as E H two or you write it it as H two E. See, for example, oxygen. Sir, Can you no, tell? Sir, I'm 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 saying okay. how is it E H two, sir? It should uh, the valency is. Uh, Okay, I will tell you. I will tell you. See, oxygen valency is two, hydrogen valency is one. When you just crisscross, what will happen? H two O. H two O and O H two. Yes, O H two O. You can write as H two. It is simple, easy. Sir, so six. Uh, In both six cases, S S E S valency is two. Sir, yeah. Group six elements have two as their valency. Yes. Yeah. Negative two as their valency. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I told here that oxygen its valency is two, hydrogen valency is one. Yeah. yeah. Sir, I I got confused and I was like group six val uh, group six uh, elements six valence. I think valence. till now it was. Okay, okay, no they have they have actually six valence electron, but their valence is two. So tell me next is oh, your group. Oh, Tanush, I open the camera again. <laughs> Now can you tell me group seven is <laughs> group seven further divided into seven E and seven B, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Can you tell me the? Yeah, again we are having oxygen, then we are having the fluorine, right? Fluorine, fluorine, chlorine here, and then bromine, fluorine, then fluorine, iodine, bromine, iodine, at uh, astatin. Astatin was not discovered at that time, so he just left this phase here. Yes. Then there sir, is the after chromium. Manganese. After chromium, yeah, it will be your manganese here. Manganese. Where, sir? Where do you find the? Technetium. B element. And rhenium. Rhenium. Exactly. Where do you find the B element? They D uh, the transition elements, right? It's in the modern. Period. These are the transition elements, D block elements, exactly. Okay, now tell me the general formula of their oxides. Their oxide formula will be. Nitrogen. Group three to group four. E two O seven. Oh yeah. The valency is one. But fluorine valency is one, right, sir? 
Yeah, its valence is also one, but they can also expand their valence. I will tell you. For example, hydride formula will be H H E, or you can also write it as E H, right? How is it O seven, sir? It should be O three, right? I know, right? Yes, sir. I will tell you. Have you have you heard that chlorine? What is the formula of chlorine oxide? Have you heard this Cl two O seven? Yes, sir. No. Exactly. This exists. This exists. Chlorine, my bad. Cl O three, but I don't know about Cl O seven. Yes, Cl two O seven also exists. It is a stable oxide. It is stable compound. Okay. Sir, but isn't there valency two, sir? All of them. Sorry, one, sir. All chlorine also valency is one. Yeah, yeah. Their valency is one, but they can also they show actually variable valency. Va variable means they show more than one. For example, for example, chlorine it uh, it can show valency up to seven. This is very important. So they can show valency one. They can show valency three. They can show valency five. They can also show valency seven. This is very important. They show more than one valence. Now, can you tell me the formula of their hydrides? So, what is the yes, hydride sir. of chlorine? Uh, sir, is it seven plus or minus, sir? When minus. you just talk of minus. valency, when you just talk of valency, it is not plus nor minus. It is just seven. It is a number. When you sir, just I talk, just, I just wanted to know if it was seven plus or seven minus. Okay, okay. Yeah, I will tell. If it's if loose you, electrons, if you. Now see here. If you just wanna know the oxidation state, then you have to remember that they will show plus one, plus three, plus five, plus seven. So that is plus seven. What you are talking of that is the plus seven. That is the oxidation state. But I'm just talking of valency. In valency, you have not to take the sign in consideration. That means you have not to write plus or minus. Then it will be HF. HCl hydrochloric acid, so HBr hydrobromic acid and HI hydroiodic acid. Yes. So this will be the formula of their hydrides. Then we are having the last group that is your group eight. They don't have subgroups, right, sir? Exactly, there isn't any subgroup, There's but like the three three, three elements were there. There yes, were three three, three elements. Argon, krypton, yes, sir, but uh, noble gases were argon. Oh, oh, yeah, noble gases were at that time. So manganese, like then dash, the dash, dash, iron, dash. cobalt here, and it is the nickel here. These are the transition elements. Iron, we are here having ruthenium here, the osmium. Cobalt, we are having here okay. rhodium, and then iridium, so and what's nickel. Happening, sir? <laughs> what? Sir, why are there three subgroups, sir? It is not a subgroup. See, I told that mainly he just placed three three elements in this group eight in, in this group eight without any explanation. So no explanation was yeah, given that why. Why did he put it without any explanation? Like, does that is there any just logic to do it that way? Da. Yeah, yeah. I'll tell you why he put because because of increasing atomic mass. You can see iron; its atomic mass is less than it is the cobalt, than it is the nickel. But actually, what he did, he studied their oxides. He just told that the formula of their oxides. What will be the oxide formula here? It will be EO four. Got it? So, um, yeah, so, he just only gave the formula of oxide, not that of hydride. So according to him, they form hydrides. So he doesn't give any formula for their hydrides. Oh, sir. So that's why in modern periodic table, group eight, group nine, and group ten have the same uh, Roman number as eight, sir. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, FPCO, uh, like. Iron, cobalt, nickel, ruthenium, rhodium, palladium. So, 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 if you have just made this uh, periodic table on your notebook, can you count how many elements you have written down? Sure. Can you count? Sir, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There could be only sixty-three elements. Exactly, exactly. But that is why I told that at the time of Mandi, there were only sixty-three elements, right? So. So shall I move to the next page? One second, sir. Wow. Um, yes, sir. One but second, sir. One second. Just don't. Okay. Do it. Sure.
just like note down this this is very important i hope you so will there is just... no hydride for group 8 right sir no there isn't any hydride formula given so only he just give the oxide is formula is it because of the reactiveness or uh... actually at that time he did he doesn't find any hydride made by these elements oh. like did he do an experiment like yeah yeah he was just doing the experiment he was just uh, studying their oxides and hydrides but he he doesn't got any hydride of these elements so that's why he doesn't give any formula for the hydrides of these elements so sir for group sir for group 1 1a has uh, group 1 in uh, modern periodic table and uh, exactly has uh, Uh, one group eleven, one B in the one uh, B. What are you telling the modern periodic table relating with the metal lives? Oh, yeah, copper, copper, yeah, silver, gold. Yeah, when we will just uh, study the modern periodic table, you will you will find that which group has been kept where and where in are our, these. Sir, in our modern in our yeah. modern periodic table, they like. Uh, Under yeah, the like group, uh, first they, it starts from copper, silver, gold, zinc, like in, and metal. In, in, in our book, the in the modern periodic table under group, group one, eleven and twelve, right? Yeah, group, group eleven and twelve. It's from like group eleven, twelve, and then three, four, five, six. In our modern periodic table, under okay. the group they gave the Mendeleev's group uh, numbers, sir. Like in, in okay, under okay. group one, it is yeah, one, yeah. See, see, you have to remember one. that Mendeleev, Mendeleev just used the Roman. Roman numbers or Roman numerals, just like this. That is first, second, third. Okay. But in the modern periodic table, the group number is given just like this. That is one, two, three, etc. Right? You have to remember this. Okay. Shall I move to the next page? Yeah. Okay. Now tell me that after Mendeleev gave his periodic table, then after I think one year. Noble gases were discovered. So when it's like oh no, my all my experiments. Yeah, noble gases. When noble gases got discovered, and when when it was told to the Mendeleev that where we will uh, place these noble gases. So can you repeat? Can you tell me what are noble? Which are noble gases? Helium, yeah, neon, 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 yeah, exactly. neon, argon, krypton, xenon, krypton, radon, xenon, and radon. Neon, argon, radon. krypton, xenon, radon. And the last element that is actually discovered recently that is the organism. Oh, This is the oh, last oh, element yeah. of the periodic table. Yes, organism. Okay. Now, when it was just told to the Mendeleev that why these noble gases will be kept, what he did, he he just told that they will just. Sir, why does organism not have atomic uh, relative atomic mass? Sir, that is uh, molecular. That is the number, sir. Which one? Organism. 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 It has atomic. Yeah, it has atomic number one hundred eighteen, and its mass is two ninety four. I will write it here. Its organism is atomic number one hundred eighteen, and its mass oh, but, is. Uh, I thought it was arranged in uh, order of uh, like uh, atomic masses. Hey, it's all. It's arranged in the order of atomic number. The... That is the. Uh, what do you mean, Ra? Atomic number is arranged Sir, in atom with the atom weight of atomic weight. Draw atomic the weight. atomic diagram of organism like like organism is lesser than uh, like the uh, weight of the uh, liver. Now here, liver see here. Have you got it that Mendeleev Mendeleev has just placed it? This is the group first of the Mendeleev's periodic table. Now what he did, he just placed group uh, these noble gases in the group zero. So that's why this is your zeroth group. Helium. That's why group eighteen has zero. Exactly. That is why we are also in the modern periodic table. What we just say, we say that group eighteen is also known as zero group. So that's why it was it was actually given by Mendeleev this name zero zero group. So modern helium, neon, krypton, krypton, xenon. Then it is a radon. So the O G element. Oh yeah, group zero. I can see it in the modern periodic table. Actually, it's in group eighteen in the modern periodic table. Yeah, group zero. It is the group eighteen in the modern periodic table. Exactly. But does that mean organism is the most like heaviest uh, atom? 
ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वन नो सर लिवरमोनियम ब्रो व्हाट इज दैट नेम दैट इज द लिवरमोरियम या एग्जैक्टली लिवरमोरियम हैज एट नंबर 115 Sir, what First is the name of the liver morium it is just a, it will be the name of the place where it has been discovered so that's why its name is given as liver morium bro no wonder some some names are given on the basis of the place some names are given on the basis of the scientist name for example mendelevium for example einsteinium so they are the name of the scientist that is einsteinium and it anywhere Einsteinium. It is. It is at the bottom of the modern periodic table. That is your F block. Atomic number ninety. Einsteinium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Einsteinium yeah. is atomic number ninety nine. Sir, it's ninety nine, sir. <laughs> so now see here, lithium. Then it was here what? No, sodium. Calcium. Potassium. Not calcium. Potassium. potassium. लालिपोर्नियम some elements they have been actually named on the basis of names of the planets just we are having the neptunium plutonium why didn't they keep people's names like uh, nitish yeah, there are people uh, yeah. see actually some elements they were discovered by some famous scientists so that's why we have given the name for example bohurium like mendelevium rutherfordium yeah. einsteinium exactly rutherfordium is there bohurium is there So have you not, not like that, sir. Mendelevium, sir. Sankalpenium, Congelenium. <laughs> yeah, bro. Mendelevium is one hundred one. Atomic number one hundred one. Mendelevium. This sounds like uh, people who imagine, named the element ran out of ideas, sir. Imagine this element in the periodic table: Dornadula, Anand, Sankalpenium. <laughs> Everyone will be like useless metal. Put it on the put it at the last. <laughs> If you are in the upcoming session, Dora Dora, Anantiyam, and Sankalpiyam. What is this? <laughs> okay, so have you got this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So this was the Mendeleev yes, period table and how he just arranged these elements in the groups and periods. So can you just repeat it again that how many groups were in the Mendeleev period table? Eight. Eight. But no, some no, books write eight. Eight. But, eight, eight, eight. But some books, some books write that Mendeleev period table there were nine groups. So can you tell me why they are saying that there were nine groups? Zero. Exactly. Exactly because like, noble gases. No, no, and he just placed them in the zero group. So. But there are total nine groups in the. It is actually the modified Mendeleev's periodic table, and there were how many periods? There was the uh, was Mendeleev uh, seven uh, alive when the group nine. Exactly, was exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he was alive. Because he was alive only, he could have changed it. What do you mean? Anyone I told you? that when it was just told to the Mendeleev that where these noble gases will be placed, so he just told that we will just have this zeroth group here. So no that's why he was. Sir, no one in <laughs> sir, no one in the world has the right to change Mandela's uh, periodic table except him, right, sir? Exactly, because yeah. what he has given, you have to write like that, because he has just uh, made this contribution at that time. It is the talk of eighteen sixty nine. At that time, he just studied the oxides, the hydrides. Then he just told the general formula. So he, he, there is contribution. So why anybody will change his periodic table? Even if it is, they, yeah. So Even if they got the chance, they wouldn't change because of no use. Okay, now tell me that uh, in the modern periodic table there are total seven periods and eighteen groups, which we will uh, study ahead. But first, we will study the various uh, contribution, important contribution, or what we can say the achievement of the oh, Mendeleev period. The next class started, sir. Okay, okay, we will. Okay, we will conclude today's class here, and I hope that you will just revise each and everything from this. 
because in the next class we will just study the achievements of mendeleev's periodic table and the limitation then we will move towards the modern periodic table did uh, mendeleev get a nobel prize sir yeah yeah he has also got the nobel prize contribution uh, like um, like a solo one or a, a duo so like that what do you yeah. mean that is not bad word language oh, what you... <laughs> what's up okay like, have a... like a solo award or like a sir, sir it says yeah. mendeleev never got the nobel prize i just search in google okay he hasn't got any no <laughs> he got but he, he was got... nominated sir he, he was, was nominated really... thrice he was like Hey, you stupid! Why did you ring the bell? Didn't got, sir. If he was nominated, then why he didn't got? No, sir. Like people voted, people didn't vote for him. They were jealous of this. It's like, um... <laughs> yeah. Too Maybe good. he has died sir. before that, oh. right? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> they'll be like so, nominated uh, thrice, sir. Come on, stay. Then they'll be like thrice, sir. The like case three dead. years in a row, sir. <laughs> 1905 okay. 1906 1906 some people like mandley come on stage and that guy's hey that guy's dead bozo <laughs> so, so okay let's stop here because your next class is already sure. been started so have a nice day bye thank you sir bye sir thank you sir thank bye you, sir, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir.